That story in Fond du Lac. Two teenagers escaped from the second story of their home during an overnight house fire. We first told you about it this morning, the fire happening in the 100 block of West Division Street. And that's where we find our Jason Zimmerman to explain what saved these girls. So Jason, what'd you learn of today as far as how this all unfolded? Well, Jeff, it's a pretty uh, incredible story considering that these are two teenage girls who woke up in the middle of the night with smoke <clears> alarms <throat> going off in their upstairs bedroom and then smelling smoke and thinking, hey, I need to jump into action right away. Now, fire officials tell me that one of the girls woke up first and then she woke up her sister. They both then grabbed a fire escape ladder, which they bought recently at a garage sale of all places. And who would have thought that's the best money they probably have spent in some time that they would actually need it, you know, to potentially save their life. But it was it was right before, you know, three o'clock this morning. They're smelling the smoke. They grabbed that ladder and there it happened at the house right behind me up there. There's a second story window that kind of has a uh, has a uh, frame kind of hanging off of it right now, a screen hanging off of it. That's the window they had to jump out of, but they took that ladder, they put it over the edge of, of, of that window sill, and they came down the side of the building. Then they took off and they ran to a neighbor's house across the street. They started pounding on the door. The neighbor waking up in the middle of the night was wondering what's going on here. She calls 911. 911 tells her there's actually a fire on the same block that you live on. And she started to then hear the sirens, the police and fire trucks show up. And that's when she started to think, oh my goodness, maybe that's the girls across the street. She looked out the window, came out there, gave them a big hug, was thankful that they are okay. But it's just amazing that they, they knew to do this and they acted in a way as if they had some type of fire escape plan. Uh, in place that they, they potentially maybe maybe they practiced. Yeah, and, and to think they actually had the ladder and, and knew how to use it. Now we know the girls were home alone. These are teenage girls and, and, and able to be home alone. Parents working, I understand. Yeah, I'm told that the parents were both working uh, third shift jobs. And uh, when they got the call from fire officials, found out their house was on fire, came racing back here to check at the scene. The neighbor tells me that the mother was pretty shaken up, but um, she was comforted knowing that her both her daughters made it out alive. And that uh, firefighters, when they came here, there were flames on the lower level. They had to rescue uh, several pets, uh, including three dogs and a bunny from the first floor. Um, going in there when there were, were flames and smoke to pull those animals out. Two of the dogs had to be revived by first responders, but other than that, everybody made it out. Oh, a very happy ending. Jason, thank you very much. Jason Zimmerman live in Fond du Lac.